this lesson, we will learn how to use the manual testing progress widget in the dashboard module. So let's go into the dashboard module and click on add widget. Go to quality sub area. And now scroll down and you will find the manual testing progress widget, which is out of the box, pre-configured. Um, and you can um, con apply your configuration on this uh, widget. So let's add the dashboard and then we will look into it. So currently when you add this to the dashboard, it has some basic filters uh, that it is only measuring on manual uh, runs only and manual tests. And um, there is no release applied as well. There is no, um, no filter on the duration of the runs. So let's configure this one. So just click on the filter. And now you, you are here on the scope of this widget. So we would like to have the last runs. This is uh, for sure. And now we can add here a specific release. So let's say we would like to add the release. This one is PI202004. And now I can also add a sprint if I want or attach uh, additional sprints directly from here. I can add milestones if needed and also define the time period. Yeah? If I would like to have the report generated for the whole release per period or last weeks, last two weeks, last months. And here you have the filter on the subtype manual runs because we want to have only the manual uh, testing progress um, displayed here. That's the reason why we are filtering here on manual run. So let's go next to the display options. And when you want to display, you have here different um, options for the display. So bar uh, graph or you have the separate bar graph per group. You have a line graph or a area graph. And also you can define if you want to have a double height. So it will be doubled in height and as well show trend of changes. Yeah. Uh, more important is the X axis you can define here, uh, which you can select for uh, months, weeks and days. This is a bit too granular for me. If you have a release which goes uh, for three months or four months, um, then it's preferable to um, do the settings to weeks or even to months. Uh, on the Y axis, you can define a count or a sum if needed. And you can group by a specific field, which are provided here. So you could say either you want to group by status or native status is also an option, uh, but you can also group by other um, fields on the run, which are provided here as well. And if you go to preview, you will see directly how it is impacting. Yeah? So either you can have this bar view, you can switch to the separate bar group so you can directly identify which one is the largest in execution um, when it comes to the status you can also go to the line graph or to the area graph uh, i like the area graph because it shows me exactly um, what the uh, progress development was yeah? so uh, i don't need to see or uh, compare the visual increase or decrease it will show me here directly that this is increasing. And once you are done with your configuration, save it and you will get exactly the configuration uh, which you have uh, set it and it will be applied to your widget. So this is basically how you can use your uh, this manual testing progress widget and you see the whole period until the release ended is defined uh, directly here.